But we begin this half hour with some new security technology you might have seen on your holiday travels. Airlines are starting to test facial recognition devices in some airports around the country. They are hoping the technology could improve safety, speed up the boarding process, and may even replace the need to carry a passport. But these devices are also raising questions about privacy. CBS News transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve explains. You can board without presenting your boarding pass, passport, or other travel documents. This JetBlue flight leaving Boston for Aruba has passengers taking a trip to the future without a boarding pass. We're just going to walk up and they're going to take a picture and that's it. Wow, yeah. It amazes me. Every year things yeah. change. It just amazes me, the technology. In seconds, facial recognition technology can compare a picture taken at the gate against a flyer's passport picture stored in a government database. Francis Sadowski is sold. Couldn't be faster. Yeah, pretty fast. Delta is testing the technology in New York and Atlanta and is also trying out a facial recognition bag drop in Minneapolis, part of a larger effort that envisions your face or fingerprint as the only thing you'll need to navigate an airport. Marrying all of the technologies at each of the steps in the travel ribbon is a game changer for the experience. You can literally go from, you know, curb to plane without having to interact with a human being if you so desire. You are clear. There's also Clear, a private company that for a fee will store and verify a flyer's biometrics, allowing people to go to the front of the security line at 24 airports nationwide. But a new report questions if it's legal for the government to use facial recognition on American citizens, and two senators are asking Customs and Border Protection to halt expansion of the testing amid security concerns. As we consolidate uh, biometric data into big databases and we use it more and more, those databases will become targets and the, and the risk of data breach increases greatly. The TSA is testing fingerprint verification at at least two airports in the U.S. and here at Reagan National, certain Delta customers can use their fingerprint as their boarding pass. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Arlington, Virginia. The future I, is now, Don. I don't know. If you believe the Mission Impossible movies, people are going to be making masks of me and trying to oh, go places. Yeah, they already are, Don. Oh. They already are. <laughs>